Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. And man, have I got a packed hour to spend with you. Okay, maybe it's not going to be an hour. Maybe it's only going to be 30 minutes. Maybe I can do it in 20. I don't know, but this is so important. And before I even get started, I really have to say hats off and a great big huge whopping thank you to David Prem, who is one of the developers on the X Lights team, who uh, has uh, shown me the errors of my way. Is it errors or errors? I think in my case it's errors of my way. So many of you may know, and if you don't and you're just now learning, congratulations. Better than reading the National Enquirer, I suppose, hearing it from the horse's mouth. Or some of you may say, well, Ron, don't you really think it's the horse's ass? And, and maybe it is. Maybe. maybe On certain days, I would agree with that. But not today, because I'm bringing you a free education. Now, with that being in mind, I have decided, and I decided a long time ago, I'm just pulling the trigger this year, to change my icicles. I sold my last icicles. Put them all in a box and send them to Mississippi. Had all those... uh. Uh, uh, staples still in them and, and <laughs> just, a, just a hodgepodge of icicle lights. And I swore I don't ever want to do that again. And I'm glad they found a happy home, but I want to use it bullet notes and I want to use them on all of my icicle drops that I'm getting from Gilbert engineering. That will be impressionable. See that, see that little plug impressions series, Gilbert engineering USA. That's right. I'm a bit of a fan. I get it. <laughs> Who can blame me? Now look, this is quite an endeavor because I've got to make all brand new icicles. And, and I want to use the bullet notes because I want to use the alternating up-down method and use submodels to create my eaves and submodels to create my icicles, which I spent two and a half days doing all this for my Halloween and Christmas layout. Little did I know all of my effects would look completely jacked. So I started sending in complaint letters and asked for my money back on free software. Well, that didn't get me anywhere, did it? No, that's not what I did. I reached out and said, what am I doing wrong? And since I help educate the community as much as possible, I feel it's my duty to pass this along because I know there are a bunch of people using these today or will be. And that's why it's important that I do this video. Let me show you what I did. Looks like a regular icicle, right? Yeah, 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 it's ice one. It's using the drop pattern 181. Okay, fair enough. That's simple, that's simple, great, great. And the way I created my sub models, which I believe I was taught way back, um, was to create the Eve upper, right? Well, let's just check these out, let's make sure it's right. I know it is. I don't, I'm not having any problems with the eaves, by the way. And, and you're probably wondering, well, why are you making this video? Well, because I had problems. And we'll get into what the problems look like. So bear with me, hang in there. So here is pixel one. And then it drops down, it goes up, goes over, drops down, goes up. And I'll prove that to you in a second. And then I created icicles group. And I just basically went in here by double clicking on bottom. And I dragged, well, I just went one through six and 299 down all the way and created these. And for some effects, they look fine when you put them in a group, but for many, 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 they don't. And the last thing I want to do is go through and have to change a bunch of uh, effects in the sequences for some of you that did it one way. And then I have to change them again for people who maybe did it another way. No, no, no. Let's all get on board with the same process here. So this is not what you want to do. No, 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 that is not what you want to do. But let's show you what these effects look like when you do all your icicles like this and put them in a group and then use a sequence. Let me cancel out of that. Let me cancel out of this. And by the way, you can uh, right click on this to see the wiring view. And you can see this is exactly how they will be wired. Remember, this is reverse view. And it will go one, two, skip, 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 bottom, skip, skip, skip top over. So what does that look like? Well, if we go over to the sequence and you'll see that I have my icicles group and there you go. That is a pinwheel. 
and it's set to overlay center, which should work just fine. But no, no, not, not quite. It, it doesn't, that's not what I wanna do. So I could go down here and say, well, let's put it on per model per preview. Yeah, that's not working either. Uh, uh, per model default. Uh, vertical. Ugh. Hot mess. Hot mess. Then let's just go over here to this, this doodad here. A spiral. Well, that looks okay. Why are these going to the center? That doesn't look right. Well, maybe I'll put it on per model per preview. Oh, look, they're working now. But what good is that if I can't get a basic spiral to do what it's supposed to, or I mean a fan or a pinwheel? No, no, no. And then we get into the real meat of the matter, which is what led me to cry out for help. If I cannot have my wave effect work on icicles, I just don't want to live. It's just not worth it. And of course I could change these to model per pre oh, what is that? What are these doing? No. It should be doing this everywhere. The slants on the sides, and it's not. It's just a hot mess. Here's another hot mess. This should just be going up and down. Oh, I guess I could go to my transformation and rotate it. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh, what have we done now? God, put that in the stores and effects fails preset pack. One penny, please. Oh, no, 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 no. And, and, and one more. I don't even know what this one's supposed to do, but yeah, it's just doing it wrong. So that's no good. No good. No good. Okay. You want to see what good looks like, and then we'll talk about how to get there? Above this is my Icicles Bueno group. Now, David uh, spent some time on this and figured out what the issue was. And a lot of it has to do in the 3D world. If you're in the 3D world and you have these camera views, you know, for instance, I could take this to per model per preview and change the camera views uh, and, and, and try to finagle it that way. But the problem is, are you going to expect everyone to do that that uses X lights, that uses icicles like these in 3D mode? No. So if we just have the proper submodels together that are put in groups, then we get this. This is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Isn't that fancy? And it looks like that on the sides, too. Let's go here and double check. And I'll turn this. There we go. Yep, see the sides? Yep, yep, yep. Looking good. Let's go to the next effect. That's looking good. And the sides are correct. And then this, one of my favorites. So important. If you can't make a wave effect look consistent, and look what it's doing on the bottom one. You can see the bottom icicles here just having a field day. No, 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 no. They're supposed to be doing this. And I'll click on the next effect, which should just be going up and down, right? And then the last effect I think is pretty much the same. You can see here, I can make the good icicles look bad by reverse engineering it and choosing per model per preview. Let me just put this back on overlay center and all is well. Okay. So we've seen good versus bad. Good, but bad. Let's go now to the layout and talk about why. Or not, let's not get in so much why. Let's just get into, let's learn how to make these, okay? Because these up here are good. And we're gonna start fresh with a little lonely icicle over here, 150 nodes. We're gonna click on this. I call this icicle test. And we're gonna to go to our sub model. And we're gonna add, and we will call this Eve 9. And I'm just gonna stretch this out here. And I'm gonna double click on bottom. And I'm just gonna drag this straight across. And click OK. And that is this, this Eve 9 is a sub model that would go in the Eve's group. Okay. Next, we need to add our icicles. I will call this icicles 9. Okay. We are going to need seven rows. So we'll add this six times. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The bottom is the bottom. The bottom would be this right here. So we double click on bottom and we highlight all of these nodes on the bottom. Click OK. Double click on the next row up. Repeat this process until you are done. It's really easy. It's really super fun. I suggest having some good music if you're doing your entire show. Now, did I just mess that up? I might have. No, I didn't. I got it. I got it. And five. Two more to go. Six. Nearly at the top. Nearly there. And the top, which is this. I don't include uh, the top line for my icicles. I want to keep those separate. And there we go. So if we uh, click on each one of these, you'll see the rows drop down. Uh, it's the same reason a lot of people, and David brought this up in conversation, a lot of people will have props that fail scrolling text because they are not set up like this. This is one of the ways you'd want to set up any prop that you want to scroll text on. Okay. If I click on the very top node ranges, it shows all of them. And Xlights uh, apparently does a pretty good job of figuring this out. If you double click on this and somehow these were not in order as long as they're all selected, uh, David says that works just fine. Xlights will figure it out in the end. And there we go. And we click OK. And then we would put that in a group. So if I went to my icicles group way up here, icicles bueno, and I take that icicles nine. Da, 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 where'd you go? Icicles nine, way down here. And let's just scoot this up a little bit. Give ourselves some room here. Ah, much better. Icicles eight, nine. Throw that in there. Okay. And we'll click save. We'll go back over to the sequence and we should see the results of that. There we go. There's icicle nine. Doing what all the other icicles do. So the key to this, folks, uh, so that you don't have to change a lot of your sequencing uh, that you've acquired over the years so that they will continue to look correct without having to mess with things, uh, that being the layer settings. Um, make sure that your icicle submodels are correctly made. That's the most important lesson from all of this is to make sure that you do set your uh, horizontals as submodel groups and your icicles. And again, use this method. Make sure you set the number of rows for your icicles. You'll start from the bottom, you'll highlight. I just go from left to right, click OK, and it puts them all in. If you have any questions, any concerns, any doubts, please reach out to me. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll help you the best I can. I hope this was informative. You guys take care. Have a great week.